Have you ever dreamed of a blood-sucking parasite landing on your face before? Well, if you're near Value Village in Fairbanks, Alaska, it might just happen. Just outside of a thrift store, a creepy parasitic looking fish ended up on the parking lot. Equipped with teeth capable of latching onto another animal and sucking its blood. Oh, and the fish was still alive, so it probably looked something like this. Oh, I'm just kidding. Not really. But back to the topic. After people noticed it, the store employees put the fish inside of a bucket full of water and called the Alaska Department of Fish and Game to report it. Since then, there have been multiple sightings of fish like that from the surrounding area on land. These fish are actually called Arctic Lamprey. Time for fun facts. These fish are actually capable of growing up to 15 inches in length and are uniquely distinguishable from their two large teeth on the supraoral bar and their creepy gill pouches. The people witnessing this strange occurrence concluded that the reason for the sightings of flying vampire fish is because of, you guessed it, seagulls. Yes, the seagulls pick the fish up from the surrounding waters and as they are carrying them, the fish wiggle free and drop from the sky. Just keep in mind, if you're ever near Value Village, take an umbrella. After receiving terrifying and mysterious letters from someone, a family in New Jersey had decided to flee from their new home. What happened left the peaceful community more than just disturbed. According to a lawsuit filed by its new owners, the large six-bedroom home in Union County is being watched. The family paid $1.3 million for their new dream home in the nice town of Westfield. They claim their previous owners were aware of a man who calls himself the Watcher, but they never said anything. Since moving in, the owners said that they've received numerous letters from the mysterious person. The Watcher claimed, the home has been the subject of my family for decades, and I have been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming. The new owners have several children, and other letters have asked, have they found out what's in the walls yet? And, I am pleased to know your names now, and the name of the young blood you have brought me. The bone-chilling letters were enough to send the new family packing. The incident was so unnerving that the Westfield mayor addressed the issue at a town council meeting. The police department conducted an exhaustive investigation based on the factual circumstances and evidence available but so far, nothing has come up. The mayor said, under New Jersey law, the letters are classified as a disorderly person's crime. No charges have been filed in the case. Whether the owners have any legal case remains to be seen. Hey guys, I know this video was shorter than most of my other stuff that I post, but I wanted to try something different. Let me know in the comments section if you would like to see more of this or have any suggestions. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Have a safe night.